Since 1954, UCP Central California has helped people with cerebral palsy live a better life. What started as one program serving 15 kids has grown to nine programs with more than 1,100 children and adults. This weekend, a special fundraiser is being held to bring awareness to the condition, while also honoring the life of Jashan Proctor, who was part of the UCP Central California family for quite some time now. Joining me now with more on this meaningful event is the events organizer. And Jashan's mom, Flo Hall Green, along with Roger Slingerman. He's the executive director of the United Cerebral Palsy of Central California organization. Thank you both for being here. Thank Thanks, Stephanie. For appreciate us. it. Oh, we love having you, CP, <laughs> on. You guys are so great. And especially to have a mom here, you've been through it all, Flo. Tell us about your son. Jashan, he, he is a character, let me tell you, so funny. Um, but he is the most lovable guy you ever want to meet. He's very loving, nurturing. He's very smart, believe it or not, for him not to talk or anything. Wow. But he is very smart, very quick-witted. Yes. <laughs> and you said he was diagnosed with CP around eight months? About eight months old, yes. And so what was it like growing up as a kid? I mean, you, you shared cute, adorable <laughs> pictures with us. He seems Thank so you. happy. And that's how he is all the time. When he doesn't show that, something's wrong. Oh. Either he's uh, not feeling well that day or something's hurting him or... The normal, you know, things that um, kids go through. Yeah. So. And, and so now we're honoring him. He is how old? He is 28. 28? Yes, he's 29 in May. Wow. <laughs> well, I know UCP has helped your family so much. So let's first talk, Roger, about what your organization does. Sure. Well, and you, you said it's great. We do adult day programs for persons with disabilities. We have about 200 adults in the program, but we also have a children's program, which more, is more located in the Kings County area. And we, we do see between 800 and 1,000 children throughout the year. And we're also part of the First Five program. So we also uh, look, uh, have, have staff that work with children without disabilities. Yeah. And a lot of times it works out great because we end up finding people that have, you know, things that we can help with and get them in the right system and in the right support. And, yes. you know, again, we always feel like we're a leader in what we do with people with cerebral palsy, but we're more than just cerebral palsy. We're other disabilities. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of other vendors in this program. So if they don't feel comfortable with us, they can also feel comfortable with another program in the mm -hmm. community. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Such a great resource. And Flo, you started with your son in Hanford at the UCP Center. Yes. He was a year and a half when we started the program and got to meet the director over there. And just that was part of what the fundraiser was about is because I was very young when I first had him mm -hmm. I had no idea about being a mom yeah let alone a child with disabilities yes so they were the resources that we needed oh. so they were able to kind of guide us into the right direction um, as he got older into going into like schooling for him mm -hmm. for it with kids just like him yeah. um, later on to like the adult program so it started with UCP wow. that got us into connections to everything else that he has today and, and what were some things they told you that you would have just been in the dark about had they not been there? Well, first, um, I remember the doctor, one of the doctors we came across, um, you know, they were doing what they were supposed to do as physicians, but um, it was kind of like they were preparing me to, to not see my son, you know, live a life. They kind of gave the ex life expectancy of 10 years and, and right away I didn't believe that. Like, yep. It has to be something. There had to been a reason why I had this little boy. So when I was introduced to UCP, just knowing one, you know, we can get therapy for him. Um, he was very stiff at that time, teaching me how to do range of motion yes. to kind of help loosen up his tendons um, and just to kind of be prepared to raising this little boy yes. as he got older. Yeah. And so they gave me the positive way to look at it, you know, versus like um, the, the hope. The, yeah. So it gave me extra hope, my family. Mm -hmm. um, and we were, you know, we were strong believers, you know. Like, mm -hmm. um, he didn't give me this little boy to take him from me. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go the other way. <laughs> and now he's 22. So you he, showed no, he's them. 28. 28. 28. Yeah. So you showed them. Yes. Wow, yes. So. That's beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy UCP is here. And we are set for a fundraiser this weekend so we can encourage yes. other parents out there. Roger, can you give us those details? Yeah. Well, the event's going to be uh, the it's uh, Saturday the 23rd. It's at Barrel House down in Visalia, and the event is from 5 to 8 p.m. There'll be food, uh, and I'm going to have you pronounce the food truck just <laughs> so I don't get it wrong, uh, with Jamaican flavor, Ooh. and uh, we're looking forward to that as well. And then we have um, Andre Carrington will be there as their MC, and he'll add a little light to the, the comedy, and there's some music as well. Mm -hmm. um, and Barrel House is, you know, they're opening the doors for letting us do this, Aww, and uh, yes. Karib Flava. Did I almost it is, get it? It's almost. It's almost. called Carib 
flavor, oh, like Caribbean. Yes. But it's carob flavor. And it's a Jamaican food truck? Jamaican food truck. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Well, that <laughs> is just one more reason to go and support yes. this awesome event, everybody. The UCP fundraiser. Tickets are just 15 bucks, and yes. that includes dinner. Yes. Wonderful. We, as we say, we like to shake up your taste buds. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to buy tickets ahead, or can you buy them at the door? At the door. Okay. Um, if you don't, if you don't want to wait till you get inside, we can also go to our website, which is www.carrotflavor.com. Okay, awesome. And then, of course, for any more questions, ucpcc.org, everybody. Yes. Looking forward to the fundraiser on Saturday. And thank you for being so vulnerable and sharing your story with us. Thank you. We no very appreciate it. <laughs> yes, UCP does such great things. Yes, thank Steph you, Roger. Thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate Thanks, it. Yeah. Yeah.